Kaiju Collectors, it's Thomas here, and today we have a cool review of the Tengetsu Crafts 1973 Godzilla. And this is a 50 centimeter uh, kit figure uh, made of resin. Now, that would mean you would normally pick it up and, you know, it's uh, unbuilt in a box, and then you would have to get it built and painted. And usually that takes a lot of time, and it depends on the skill of the person putting it together. But I saw this one built as is in one of the kaiju groups and i was debating on getting it. it it was sitting there for a minute and you know i i thought it looked really good and i i ultimately ended up getting it and here he is so he he did arrive with some minor damage i won't say too much but i was able to take care of the repairs actually my myself i was considering maybe calling around but you know i, I looked at some videos and you know, I did get some advice before on how to make some repairs and I said, you know what, I think I can do it because it was just basically where the pieces connect. So it wasn't like anything was shattered or anything like that. So I did it. I spent a little bit of time, but you know, I, I took some time and I realized that these guys that put this stuff together, it takes, you know, it takes a lot of effort. So hats off to all those guys that actually build these kits. I mean, it's, it's really cool. And I think the more time you spend on it, the better it's going to be. So Anyways, no harm really. I mean, he looks great. This guy is so big, you uh, you know, you guys can't even see him on the table. He's he's a beast. So let's get some closer looks of this fella, and I'll give you some of my impressions as you go along. So let's do that right now. Here's the seventy-three Godzilla, and we'll give him a quick three-sixty view. And if you guys aren't aware, this Godzilla made multiple appearances in Toho's TV show called zone fighter and it's quite a hoot and i was not aware of this until much much later and i couldn't believe it so i highly recommend you guys check that show out but looking at this particular kit it's really quite spot on from his facial features just his body the sculpt everything about this looks fantastic and i am going to show you a picture that will prove my point of how accurate that they got this kit and it's going to be right here. First comparison we have the X plus 25 centimeter 2021 King Kong and this is the brick version for comparison number two we have the FSL 1954 gigantic Godzilla and they actually scale quite well for our third comparison we have the megaton 
Godzilla, and this is the reissue from Medicom. The original scope is from Marmot, and this guy has a metallic green and black finish. Looks looks very good, and they scale perfectly. For our fourth comparison, we have the excellent X Plus 1974 Mecha Godzilla Gigantic, and I can see why it was runner up in the previous figure of the year poll. It's an excellent release. And although we don't have a 74 gigantic Godzilla yet, this is a perfect stand-in. And you can imagine how many fans would be really pleased when X Plus finally does. And here is the whole group together. And the 73 Godzilla stands about 19 inches tall. Mecha Godzilla is probably about half an inch taller. So they scale quite well. And I thought actually X Plus would release a gigantic Gigan for its 50th anniversary. But we'll see. It's still a possibility this year. Okay guys, I am back. I hope you guys like my quick review on this Tengitsu Crafts 1973 Godzilla. This is the 50 centimeter resin kit figure. You know, it's not every day that you see 73s for sale. In general, you don't see them that often. And there's not that many representations out there as far as like a realistic form other, other than a kit. So to see a gigantic pop up, man, this is, I guess this is good fortune. And I'm really appreciative that I actually have one. And we're still waiting for a 30 centimeter from X plus or even a gigantic. I know folks have been waiting for more Showa gigantics and who knows, who knows what's in store next year. Maybe even this year it might pop up. We're still waiting for Gigan. We're waiting for Mecha Gira. When is that coming out? Who knows? Probably when we least expect it and when we give up, they're going to announce it. So as far as a general score on this guy, he fits in so well with my other Gigantics. You know, these two right here are facing off. I mean, this is an awesome sight. Look at that. Check that out. That is awesome. And yeah, I mean, he's all I can say is that I dig him a lot. I mean, he's he's right up there with all the rest of my Gigantics. I mean, I don't really have any Gigantics that I don't like. It's just a matter of how much more I like the other. I mean, I dig them all for, for the most part. This guy's right in the middle of the pack, at least. You know, if not more, I think this guy is really cool. You know, I don't, like I said in my previous videos, I don't have a whole lot of kit figures, but it's slowly starting to grow. So it's it's fun. I can see the fascination with, with kits. I see other collectors starting to go the kit route and I totally get it. I mean, it's a little bit more unique, a little bit less seen. So it just makes it, you know, that much more exciting. So. Thanks again for watching my review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I will be back soon. I have a couple more ideas for review. So you guys take care. Have a great day or a good evening. Bye-bye.